4-0. The Marion Bulldogs can make some pretty cool history this week if they can beat Lytle. They'll become the first team in program history to start off 5-0. The Bulldogs had to come from 10 points down in the fourth quarter against Hondo to beat the Owls last Friday, 35-31. And now the dogs have a shot at history. There's never been a team that's gone through uh, Marion that's gone 5-0, and and we feel like we've got a great opportunity, and our kids have been working hard all week, and so it's just, you know, the community's rallying behind it, and all the kids, obviously, are excited about it, and uh, just kind of, we always talk about our seniors uh, leaving that legacy, and uh, right now, uh, they're kind of on track, and uh, really been putting in a lot of work this, uh, this year and this week, and uh, they're excited for this opportunity to go 5-0, and the first time in school history. It's very cool, you know, to be a part of a team that can do that and just show, you know, who Marion is. That's what's very cool to be a part of. You know, that's awesome. Like, that's never happened in Marion history. We've had some really good teams run through here. So I think with all the seniors we have and as hard as we work at practice, I think it's definitely something that we can accomplish. Marion will go for history tonight at 730 when they host Lytle in the district opener for both. Now at 2-2, two and two, the McCollum Cowboys will play Dripping Springs tonight, part of our three-game BGC road trip. The Cowboys remain confident, and despite two straight losses, Coach says his guys are playing hard the entire game. We're getting better. Uh, we're improving. That was our, our major goal and objective. Uh, you know, you always want to get more wins. Um, we're at 500 and we need to break out and do something in district and uh, you know that's a big challenge we're playing really good football teams we worked since i've been a varsity since sophomore year man it's been feeling great and we needed those two wins to set us off for the, our senior year three years on varsity and then all losing to have those two wins back to back it was a great feeling everyone was pumped it brought a confidence to the team i guess would say sometimes it feels heavy sometimes it feels awesome like when we were 2-0 and and then Everyone was supporting us, everyone's talking, and then we lose a couple games, and then everyone's bad mouthing us again, but it's fine. Here's the BGC road trip tonight McCollum at Dripping Springs, Alamo Heights at Wimberley, and Three Rivers visiting Blanco. In Major League Baseball, the Angels beat the Astros 3 2, so Houston's magic number remains 3, and the Orioles shut out the Rangers 3 0. And the big news, the one and only Manu Ginobili is coming back to the silver and black. He is joining the Spurs front office as special advisor to basketball operations. Ginobili returns to the Spurs following a 16-year playing career with San Antonio, where he helped the silver and black capture four NBA championships. And how about this? Manu is also eligible for the Ooh. Basketball Hall of Fame class of 2022. Mm. Do we nominate him? <laughs> it's, it's foregone conclusion. <laughs> He's in. He's going to get in, yes. Good. All right, going all the way to Dripping Springs. Dripping Springs, yeah. Be careful. Maybe you might swing by your house on the all way right. down and say hi. I got some dinner. <laughs> Come on. I got some exotic dip brewing my wife is making for tomorrow. <laughs> You're going to have to give that recipe to SA Live. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> have your wife be a guest on the show. We'll eat it. So. Yeah, sure. <laughs> That's what we do. Yeah. You can get your whole family into the fall spirit with fun projects you can do together. Yep. And our dear friend Jennifer Nicolella from Abby's Attic is here. And these great little crafts for the kids and the grown-ups. And you've got a neat coaster over there. Yes. Five little pieces of fabric. You can use it for a mug rug. Or my favorite, you can put it around the bottom of your wine glass. It's Friday, 5 o'clock somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yes. Simple to make. <laughs> and it's an adventure that's 65 million years in the making. Jen's out there at Jurassic Quest. Yes, you can expect a dino mite time when you come here. Now the exhibit's behind us, but this right here is part of the fun when you come to Jurassic Quest, something that you can take part of this weekend. I'm gonna go look for more dinosaurs, guys. Back to you, my new friend. I like the dino mite time there. Hey, <laughs> Halloween, it's spooky out there at SeaWorld. <laughs> yes, and they've got something for the kids during the day with spectacular, and of course, Hallow Scream at night and we take you there and check out some of the haunts. How about going to Hawaii or a little taste of Hawaii? We've got Wow Wow Lemonade, these great recipes there. Also, it is fall, the perfect fall day. What is it? Let us know at SA Live Case out on Facebook and Twitter, and we'll see how that shakes down in a few minutes. Welcome back. We are at 82 degrees. We'll be up around 88 degrees today. Beautiful weekend. 89 Saturday, 91 Sunday. Chances of rain next week. Lots more humidity. So enjoy these next couple days while they last, guys. It's almost too pretty for football.
No. I mean, it, indoor you, poker. Oh, indoor poker. Yeah. Watching it. So that's, that he's going to be that. watching it so. with his exotic dip. I want to go to Hawaii, too, though. So we could go to Hawaii, right? Yeah. You know what they said? Mm-hmm. Hope they got room for all of us. We'll find out, because that's a live starts right now. But first, a little history, where it's an adventure 65 million years in the making. We journey to the Jurassic Quest, the only dinosaur event that has true to life-size dinosaurs. Plus, it's a haunting Halloween event filled with terrifying haunted houses at SeaWorld's Hallow Scream. We take spooky libations, ride the roller coasters, and see live entertainment happening at the park. And we're not going to Hawaii. It's coming to us with these handcrafted lemonades to keep you hydrated and going into the weekend. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. It's all about <laughs> the pumpkin. Yes. There's a gourd joke in there somewhere. Oh. First official <laughs> weekend of fall, and oh my goodness gracious, it couldn't be any nicer. Yes, and Happy the pumpkin fall. patches are yep. out already. I've seen a few. If we could only bottle this weather and keep it for about the next 27 years. That's on anyway, you. <laughs> I know. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Happy Friday. I'm Mike Osterhage. And I'm Fiona Gorsiza, and our fall week continues with family activities your kids are going to love. Yep, get your whole family in the fall spirit and these fun projects that you can do together. Yes, Jennifer Nicolella, owner of Abby's Attic Sewing Studio, is here to show us how to make some handmade pumpkins for the fall season. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you. It's so good to see you. Well, we got sewing machines here, but we're not using them until the next segment. Correct. This is all the kind of the, the good old-fashioned way to do yep, it, right? Yep, the old-fashioned way. So we're going to make two different kinds of pumpkins today. The first one is going to be the styrofoam ball. Okay. Um, this is really good for kiddos if you have like a, a little stick pin that you can stick in there or even a staple. Okay. Um, we're going to use hot glue though. So all you do oh. is you take the yarn and just wrap it around um, the styrofoam ball. Glue and it. it takes a hot minute to get it done. It's it's going to be, uh, well, Okay. Let's go. I got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Got and then this. just keep going into that little glue and then spot just keep right going. there. And if you just like layer the yarn right next to the previous one, um, it'll give it a nice sort of, you know, satiny kind of look. Okay. And then the finished one in the front there, um, once you have it wrapped, you can put a little rolled up piece of felt and a little felt leaf on there to finish it off. And besides being a cute decoration that the kids could do, there is a method to your madness, right? And a reason for it, right? What's that? With all the, the fine motor fine skills. Fine motor yes. skills, yep, that's, that's our thing. Yeah, so we want those kiddos to work those little muscles in their hands so that they can eventually you know, work on their writing skills and work on their threading the needle skills. Um, but these sort of activities, these craft activities, are really great for their fine motor skills. Okay, and and then it's also something fun because then they have a, a great little thing that you know you can bring out every year, give it That's to right. grandma and grandpas, and I suppose get priceless. Or something like this. Yes, you it are is. making Absolutely. a priceless piece of art right now for Bonnie. And honestly, and they'll <laughs> last like forever. Forever. Yeah. <laughs> she won't ever be able to get rid of it. No, she won't, because I won't let her. Art, so. And okay. then to finish it out, all you do just cut a, cut it mm -hmm. off and then glue that end down. Okay. And I've got some little felt leaves in the front there for you. Now, if you want to do a stem, there's some uh, green strips of felt, and you just roll it up like These? a little. Oh, sorry. I guess we have to cut one. Okay. Up felt that is. Okay. Oh, here, scissors. <laughs> scissors. Ah, you. There you okay. go. So, so just cut a long glue. rectangle of, of that felt. Yep. There we go. And then roll it up, and then right before you get to the end, you're going to put a little line of glue right across the end, and then close it off. Okay. Just like this, and we go like this. And we and are another all great set. thing about this for kids is that um, crafting ah, is such a good outlet. I mean, with the, all that they've been through in the last year and a half, crafting is so wonderful. Just to create something, to sit down with your mom and dad and make something, or your sisters and brothers, friends. Anything that doesn't involve anything electronic. That is true. Yes. It's quiet, just, yeah. So, mm -hmm. And then that would glue right on top of that, like that, right? Keep the hot glue off your fingers, because then the felt in the yarn sticks to your fingers. I missed so. that day in school, too. So while he's finishing that one, what's the next one we're going to oh, do? So the next one is going to be this fabric one. And you guys have little circles of fabric. They do not have to be perfect circles. Um, but I have little dots for you guys. And you can do this with the kids, too. The dots don't have to be evenly spaced or anything. And oh, there should be a, a needle and a thread. Yeah, I got it right there. Here. Got it? Okay. Um, okay, and then just go in through one dot and out through another dot and just sort of like a dolphin going through water, in and out, up and down. 
through those dots. So, it, you know, hand sewing or machine sewing, is it easier or harder? Does it just depend? It depends. <laughs> on, the, on the skill? <laughs> yeah, uh, well, patience too. I mean, the, the hand sewing stuff is great for kids, but it's also great for adults because even us adults sit on our devices for too long and our thumbs get really strong, but our fingers do not. So hand sewing is really great. Um, machine sewing can be a little intimidating to begin with because you see all these crazy knobs and stuff and buttons. Mm -hmm. Uh, and um, but once you get familiar with it, just like anything else, it's it's pretty easy. And you have classes out at your place for learning how to sew, learning how to do things like this yep. for basically all ages. I mean, all you, ages. you get little little itty bitties on sewing machines. Four years right? old. Well, we we started the summer at five five years old. Okay. Um, and that was great. Uh, but we've taught, you know, we teach adults, we teach kids, and if you want to make something with a sewing machine, we probably have a class for it. Online okay. and virtual? Just virtual. Uh, sorry, sorry, just sorry. in person. Just in person. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, right. What you keep doing mm -hmm. is this goes, and then this is all going to gather up and pull together, and you can put some uh, stuff, wanna, some stuffing in there. There we go. Like that. Just yeah. grab both, just like both that. tails, so. and there's a big wad of stuffing in there. There you go. So we are going to be making some okay. more great fall crafts mm -hmm. on the sewing machine. Very, very simple ones coming up a little bit later on. And if you'd like more, more information about all of the classes out there. Jen will tune up your sewing machine for <laughs> you. Everything else, head on over to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. And again, it is Abby's Attic. Yay. See you in just a little bit. Yes, sir. Oh. All right. Our question of the day. It is a perfect fall day right now, but what to do on the perfect fall day? What would be the, the one thing you'd love to do today? Okay, so there it is up on the screen. Okay, and it is a drive to see the fall leaves dinner out with friends. Favorite book, pumpkin bread, fall scented candles. Visit a pumpkin patch, eat a caramel apple Halloween movie. I like that yeah. one. A long walk in the woods, bonfire warm apple cider. Ooh. I think yours would be D. It's very Hallmarkish. Yeah, I, that's exactly. Mine is totally C. It's got Halloween movie and pumpkin patch. Done. That's pretty good, too. <laughs> Let us know what would be one of your uh, perfect fall days. <laughs> Weigh in at Sorry. SA Live Case Out on Facebook and Twitter, and we'll see some of those answers a little later. All right, speaking about more family activities and family fun, prehistoric fun for the whole family out there at the Freeman Coliseum. And our Jen Tobias Trusky is having a roaring good time over there right now. Hey there, Jen. <laughs> Yes, it's like you can hear them behind me. Yes, there's so much fun to be had here at Jurassic Quest. And someone who's helping us out today is Safari Sarah, Sarah Menard, the dinosaur trainer. <laughs> so uh, thank, thanks for joining us to, to share all about this event. So what can families enjoy out here? So Jurassic Quest is the largest dinosaur exhibit in all of North America, which means we have over 100 life-size dinosaurs, but we also have dinosaurs you can ride on, dinosaurs you can meet, and even some aquatic reptiles too. Ooh, mm -hmm. so many things. Yes. And, and also, the, you have some fun facts for us that I, I couldn't sure believe. They blew do. my mind. I'll let okay. you share. Now, this guy is our centerpiece. He's our T Rex. And some people may not know that they may have eaten one of his cousins, Ooh. which is the chicken. A ch Wait, the chicken <laughs> is his cousin? <laughs> that is right. So, dinosaurs really did taste like chicken, you know? <laughs> uh, but actually, a really cool thing because of that that you can find out is that. Dinosaurs actually had feathers. And if really? you think of a T-Rex, he kind of looks like a plucked chicken, doesn't he? But yes. we know that some T-Rexes actually had some feathers, possibly. We know raptors were covered in them. And then our third thing is that birds are actually dinosaurs. So my son tells me this all the, the time. Oh my yeah. goodness. <laughs> so my son is right about this. How did he yes, know this? Yes, indeed. Now, I brought y'all over here because we had the Triceratops over there. And this little guy right here is an Ocalops. Now, he is a Ceratopsian ancestor. And he's actually hanging out with little Trixie. Hey, Trixie. Oh, how Hi, cute. Girl. And that's one of our baby dinosaurs you can actually meet at our show. We got our mask on for safety because we do want to let people know that we are taking pride and care of our guests. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that we're encouraging masks. All of our people will be wearing them. Perfect. But we do want people to know that kids under two don't have to wear a mask and they're free to get into our exhibit too. Oh, under two years old. Good to know. Yeah. But there's so many things. Can you tell me more about the things that we, we obviously got to see the dinosaurs yes. here, 
sure. But there's so many other things. Can you talk about those as yes, well? Yes, I sure can. <laughs> so one really cool thing about Jurassic Quest is we're not only educational, but we're also fun. So we have things like crafts. We actually have fossil digs where kids can go and excavate themselves. We have dino bounce houses, dinosaurs you can ride on, and even a raptor experience. Ooh. Yep, so we have Jojo, the Utah raptor there, and you can actually meet a live raptor. What? May even have to run from one, but we'll find out at the show. <laughs> Got it. And then you obviously get to be up close and see all the reactions. So of for course. families watching that are considering coming, yeah. uh, how can you describe that experience for the kids? You yeah. know, we really just want to tell everyone that this is a fun experience for the whole family. I love it. Because everyone has that that time in life where they're obsessed with dinosaurs. Yes. But you grow out of it because you don't learn about them. Right. So coming to Jurassic Quest, not only will you have a good time, but you'll maybe even hear your kid saying the name of a dinosaur you didn't even know he knew. I love so that. it's a really cool gateway science into mm -hmm. other things and it's fun for the entire family to come and enjoy together. Perfect. I love the educational aspect of that as well. So come on out. You have from now until October 4th to come on out. So again, it is Jurassic Quest here at the Freeman Coliseum. And for more information, head over to JurassicQuest.com for all the ticket information. All right. So again, it's that, that last Sunday, right? Yes, uh, ma'am. We have 4th. two weeks until October 4th. Perfect. All right. So head there for more information. I got to go find more dinosaurs. Come Back on. To, all right. We're going. Back to you guys. <laughs> What's next? All right, still ahead, we take a haunting trip over to SeaWorld San Antonio's Hallow Scream to see the spectacular attractions that are happening. And we are stretching into the fall weekend with Yoga Basics on this Get Fit Friday. <laughs> Welcome back to SA Live. Well, we are keeping our bodies loose. Well, like a fall leaf today, like a fall leaf, Mike. And Olivia Gladstone, coach with Energy X Fitness, and Allison Galvan, owner of Energy X Fitness, joins us to help out because Olivia, you are going to show us and uh, show them some yoga basics, right? Yes. Okay. So let's get started with our first move. Let's start with a nice, just big stretch, lifting those arms up overhead. And then just take a nice forward fold here. Lengthen out the hamstrings. Kind of just allow the neck to be soft here. You can take a nice big bend in those knees. Thank you. Beautiful. <laughs> and then just roll up one vertebra at a time. Take your time, stack those shoulders over those hips. Beautiful. You know you're glad you don't have like a hole in your socks today, right? <laughs> I know. <laughs> and, and we've arrived, we've warmed up a bit. <laughs> and how is you know this different from normal warm up stretches? With Definitely, yoga? so yoga really fits into any type of exercise routine that you might take. We start a little bit slower, we gradually increase intensity and pace, and really work on lengthening the entire body. Okay, and there's another move that can kind of help do that, right? Yes, so let's go ahead and take a little lunge here, a high crescent lunge. We can step a foot back, reach those arms up overhead, working on a little bit more balance and stability. Beautiful, and we'll take it to the other side. Go ahead, step forward. Opposite foot back. Oh, we got it. Yep. Use I'm, that and use that I'm breath impressed. here. I'm impressed. With thinking of, balance and thinking about those inhales and exhales, relaxing those shoulders. You guys got it. Nice job. Like a sturdy, sturdy tree, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I won't, I won't hold you I'm there any longer. Don't make me laugh, so. Okay. Okay. So of course, uh, you know, can anyone do yoga? You don't have to already be flexible, right? Yoga really is for everyone, and that's what's so great about this this exercise because there are different levels to it, and it's not just about what you're doing on the mat. Um, there is an aspect to yoga that comes off of the mat as well. And so linking that breath to movement helps you deal with maybe challenges you might find in the exercises, but challenges you might find in your everyday life. And how do we react or perhaps not react to those challenges? And because it's, you know, low impact, I mean, it's really all ages, right? Yes, I mean, definitely. Um, I know a lot of people in my own life who have been practicing yoga from a young age up until they're 90 years old. Um, it, it really is for everyone and 
a lot about yoga is thinking about how can we preserve the body from injury. Mm -hmm. So how can we build strength in the spine? Um, how can we focus on our breath, tune in just like they are now? Uh, there's a question from, I, from the I, class. For a question yes. from the peanut gallery. And a lot of people think this is just stretching, but it can be a, a good workout too. Yes, definitely. You're not running a mile, but you can get winded from this, right? Well, at least I can. <laughs> All different types of yoga practices from a slow flow meditation to a strong vinyasa flow and so you can make it what you need. And so many of course versions of it you know with hot yoga or anything like that and it's so popular. Yeah. You know because it's just like you know so versatile and you have been practicing yoga for how long? I'd like to say about about 10 years here and there. Um, I've been teaching for about three but it's it's been part of my life for a long time. I, I hope to to keep it um, a big aspect of my life forever. Okay, and tell folks about classes. Definitely, so at Energy X Fitness, we have a couple different types of yoga classes throughout the week. Um, we have a Yoga Strong, which also incorporates other type of exercises with kettlebells. Um, I teach a typical vinyasa flow class, really accessible to all levels. Slower warm up, getting into some flows and then cooling it down. All right, and tell folks where they can find you. Of course, um, I'm at Energy X every Saturday at 10.45 a.m. and I'd love to see you there. All right, for more information on Energy X Fitness, all you have to do is head to our website, salive.com and click on the as seen on SA Live tab where we've provided a link. Still ahead on the show, we're doing more fall sewing projects with Abby's Attic, but this time we're gonna get to use the sewing machine. And I check out SeaWorld's Hallow Scream event. It was a spooky good time. and scariest Halloween event, SeaWorld's Hallow Scream returns for the 20th terrifying year. And joining me right now is Chuck Crow to tell you all about the new terrifying haunt. Are you scared? Stuff. Oogie boogie boogie. <laughs> oh, that's scary. <laughs> <laughs> of course it is, but not as scary as Hallow Scream at SeaWorld San Antonio. 20 years of fear. It's amazing, 20 years. And we have just, every year, we just do more and more and more. Five different haunts, seven territories. Uh, we have five different themed bars, something for everybody here. I was telling you about the haunts. Check out where we're at right now. This, this is, is new, right? Yeah, this is brand new, built for 2021. It is the Swamp at Blackwater Bayou. You never know what you're gonna run into here. <laughs> we've got, I don't know, a voodoo priest, of the, a voodoo priestess over here. And then we've got this mansion with this lady who's very protective of her mansion. And of course, you're gonna get to go in and out of that mansion. It's absolutely fantastic. And this, is even better when the sun goes down, right? Yeah, that's the thing. During the day at SeaWorld for Halloween, we've got something called Spooktacular. Now that's the fun thing for the little kids who may not want to be scared, or even the grown folk who may not want to be scared. Um, you know, we've got pumpkins and uh, and clowns and, and, and pirates. Um, but then when the sun goes down, you know what they say, they say the freaks <laughs> come out at night. <laughs> to get ready for the fright. <laughs> they to get ready for the fright, because Freaks come out at night. <laughs> That's when Howlow Scream actually happens. And we've got something for everything, well, everyone. Like I said, we've got five different bars outside. And it's not just a bar outside. It's kind of like a festival, a carnival, really lively atmosphere. We have DJs out there. People are dancing, having a, an, an absolute great time. And of course, while Howlow Scream is going on, we also have Beer Fest going on. Over six, yeah, I know, right? So tell us all about that. Beer Fest. I mean, what more is there, there to we say? Go. 65 <laughs> different flavors of beer say that you can sample responsibly, of course, throughout the day. And we have some of the favorite pub foods like pretzels and wiener schnitzel and sauerkraut and all that good stuff. Um, so Beer Fest is going on, Spooktacular is going on, Hallow Scream is going on. 
And of course, you can't forget, it is SeaWorld. So we have all the amazing animal attractions. We've got some super rides. It is the place to be for Halloween. And that's the thing, you wanna get into the spirit, right? This is where to come. This is indeed, <laughs> this is indeed where to come. Get into the spirit and then sample some spirits. You know, <laughs> for the, the adults. Two, it's the two great tastes that taste great together. Spirits and spirits, huzzah! Boogie, 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 boogie. <laughs> All right, tell folks everything they need to know if they want to come on out. Uh, of course, as always, you can go to SeaWorldSanAntonio.com. And of course, if you've got an, an annual pass, you can come over and over and over. Hallow Scream is happening every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday nights through the end of October. All right, and for all that information, all you have to do is head to our website, essaylive.com, and click on the As Seen on Essay Live tab. You're still scared, aren't you? <laughs> hey, later we get our bodies in even better shape for this cool fall weather. Energy X Fitness whips us into shape with a hit workout. Now that I'm all stretched out from that yoga. Yes, and we are taking our fall family projects up the sewing notch. Plus, we share an easy to make muffin recipe you can enjoy while working with the kids. Oogity boogie boogie. Oh, that's scary. Oogity boogie boogie. 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 Welcome back to SA Live. Old Jennifer Nicolella, owner of Abby's Attic Sewing Studio, joins us once again for more fall crafting and I smell pumpkin spice muffins I know. as well. What? Say you, what? Say you've what? never brought food before. I'm I have not. This. What did you make? Mm. It's the easiest recipe I've ever made. A box of spice cake and a can of pureed pumpkin. Mix it together, bake it as directed on the box. Done. Easy. And you said Two it makes about a dozen cupcakes? A dozen cupcakes, yeah. Okay. Oh, my wow. kids and I have been making these for years. Oh my gosh, it's so simple. Wonderful. Oh, good, yeah. Okay, and speaking of pumpkins, we have to then, and now we're using the, the sewing machine we here. We're using the sewing machine. Oh, wait, okay, because this is what far, the finished there, product right. would look like, right? Yes, so we've got this little fabric pumpkin here. He's, he's made of six little wedges. The pattern and the instructions are both on our website, um, abbysatticsewingschool.com. And all you do is you sew the wedges together. So Fiona's going to sew the third of three. Okay. Mike is going to finish the and, round. And I've got two sets of three kind of made into a sandwich here. Oh, I'm, and I'm so happy. <laughs> she's sewing. Look at that. You're good. You're good. You're good. <laughs> Barbie head gone. Oh. Uh oh. Hold that on. didn't sound good. No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> she's okay. got this. And never sew over the pins, right? Correct. Yeah, I didn't make that mistake, Mike. You thought she's I She's on it, man. She's got it going on. Uh, Look at her go. Mine is. And you know what? There, the curve right is not easy. Well done, No, you. it's not. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great. Yes, our, our tables here are a little bit high, and uh -huh, so the yeah. uh, foot pedals are like uh, stuffed inside the table here, so. Okay. You're good. That's it. So you're going to raise the, the lever on the back, reach all the way to the back. That one right there. Yep. <laughs> Pull it out. And you teach out. kids, even as young as like five or so, how to use a sewing machine, right? Yes. So we had actually a camp this summer called um, Learn to Sew. We had kids five to eight come, and it was great. They had so much fun. But we also teach kids eight and up, um, adults mm -hmm. to 108. And if you want to learn how to put clothing together or make things for the holidays or read patterns, we have probably the class on the calendar for you. I mean, and think about mm -hmm. it too. With kids, you know, if they buy a pair of pants or something like that, and you gotta hem them, it's so easy instead of taking them somewhere and waiting, you know, if you can like learn how to do it yourself, right? We do have a class on that as well, basic alterations, yep. And you oh, don't you do? need a oh. sewing machine, right? Um, you do not. Classes? That's correct. We have all the machines that you um, will need to do the projects. We'll teach you everything you need to know. Okay. And so at what age can kids start learning? So we started them at age five, but if you have a kiddo who's a little older and has a little more patience and uh, maturity, then you could start them as early as maybe three or four. Okay, so this, now I turn it inside yep, out, you got or it. right side out, I should say. And then there's some uh, a bag of stuffing under there somewhere, you just stuff it. Um, somewhere. Oh, here's the stuffing. There it is. Oh, there right there. Okay, yep. We're back. I should, <laughs> I should have switched you guys because your button is on that machine. Uh, that's true. <laughs> okay, so put this in here. And okay, and then the uh, the coaster that you made, yeah, so which is really cute. They are super duper easy. Um, it re just needs five pieces of five inch squares. You can buy those five inch squares at a quilt shop. They're called um, charm squares, 
and you just fold them in um, half to make a triangle. And there's a big pile of triangles right under you guys right there. Mm -hmm. um, take a piece of fabric that's already open. One of these. Mm -hmm. That's your foundation. Okay. And then lay each of the triangles with the um, cut edge. Oh, sorry, right sides together, pretty sides together. It's pretty, a little, oh, pretty yeah, sides it's together. It's a little okay. counterintuitive, yeah. Okay. That's right. And then, and then we're going to go em. like this and yep. like. I know, it's a little geometry <laughs> lesson, right? Yeah, like so the, the little corner of the triangles will go in the corner of the squares. And like this. Yep. This. And then, and then the and last then the one you're going to reach up and tuck and under like you're tucking in a, a the lid of a, like um, what do you call it, cardboard box. That. Mm -hmm. And then just sew around the edges so around the on edges. this one. Yep. Okay. And I wonder if I can whip go. this together here real oh, quick. Oh, you can do it. You can do it. All right. <laughs> uh, tell folks about classes. So we have all the classes, um, fall classes, garment construction classes, kids classes, Saturday classes, all the classes. Okay. <laughs> if you want to learn how to sew, we can teach you. <laughs> I lost my thread in the needle. However, you put it all together and it turns out just like this, a great little thing. Wonderful ideas here. Thank Love you. all these. Thank you so much. <laughs> For more information on Abby's Attic Sewing Studio, just head to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab where we've provided a link. Hey, a little bit later on, fresh handmade lemonade to brighten up your weekend. We try several fruity flavors from Wow Wow Hawaiian Lemonade in just a bit. And Mike is still going to do a cardio workout as he gets in shape. For fall. And I need a little energy <laughs> before I do that, so here. Mm. Welcome back to SA Live, where you can fall into a healthy workout routine this season with a little help from Energy X Fitness. And Allison Galvan, owner of Energy X Fitness, takes center stage with me right now to help show off a hit workout. And we've got Olivia Gladstone kind of helping out there with Mike, okay, because you were doing the yoga a little bit earlier. So what does HIT mean? Yeah, HIT stands for High Intensity Interval Training. Training. So we're gonna go high bursts of energy and then small bursts of recovery, up okay. and down, up and down. Mike, how are you doing? Fine. Okay. <laughs> segment over yet? No. Okay. So, can you do HIT and yoga workouts in the same plan? You know, kind of in the same plan like we did absolutely. today. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. We highly recommend that people do HIT workouts and then they use the day out of the week as recovery, which is yoga. But as we said before, yoga is not always a recovery, right? But it can be used that way. Okay. And can HIT workouts be modified for people at different? energy levels and of course ages. Yes, absolutely. Um, we have a wide variety of people that come to our studios and so we are uh, so in tune with making sure that we give lots of options, lots of modifications so that everyone's still successful and get a really great workout. And they're using some kettlebells, but right. what other equipment would you need for it? Well, you can just use your body weight, which is so great if you're just at home, you want to do some things. Um, but if you have kettlebells, if you have resistance bands, really anything, household items, laundry detergent, you can get the workout done. And posture and form, of course, as with any workout, important, right? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, we are constantly <laughs> preaching good form at the studio because we want to keep people feeling safe, feeling good. Uh, and so we make sure that we're guiding you through each move to make sure that it is proper uh, and uh, you don't end up injured with a rotator cuff injury. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hey, go easy, go easy, go easy over there. All right. And this is great. You are a current nominee for the Impact Awards, right? Yeah, yeah. So the Impact Awards um, are coming up in at the beginning of uh, October, and I'm just happy, honored to be a nominee, uh, impacting lives with fitness. Okay. Yeah. And what are maybe some common mistakes folks might make when attempting hit workouts for the first time if I they're mean. on their own? Uh, a lot of times people don't get the timing right of HIT. So HIT, as I said before, is an interval of high bursts of work with a low rest recovery burst of work. Um, so a lot of times people will rest for way too long or potentially work for way too long. So we want to find, there's no perfect one, but you hear Tabata a lot. Tabata is a 20 second work, 10 seconds rest on and off for eight times. Um, and then we really like the timing of 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off at our studio um, to make sure that you get 
get just enough rest, but that you haven't completely recovered. And you want because you want to keep that heart rate up, right? right? You want to keep that intensity up for to sure. To get the most out of that Absolutely. workout, okay? Mm -hmm. And tell folks about the classes that are offered at Energy X. Yeah. So as I said, we do a lot of hit classes. We also do a lot of strength, a little bit of yoga because we want you to be well rounded. Uh, we have two different locations that you can take advantage of these using equipments like the kettlebell, the TRX. Uh, we have water rowers there as well, BOSUs, you name it. We don't actually have it all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but we've got a lot. <laughs> okay. And how can folks sign up for classes? Yeah, the best way to go about it is to go to our website, energyxfitness.com, click the location you're interested in, uh, and select the class, sign on up. All right, okay. And do you have any online virtual classes? We actually still do, okay. yes. So we do live stream classes, uh, one per day. Some of them are strength, some of them are yoga. Uh, but we still have that option. We also have on demand. All that can be found on our website. Okay. Now, if someone is, you know hasn't been working out, okay, and they want to, <laughs> <laughs> okay, besides starting with you know maybe some stretching, right, sure. and they they, they want to get ahead rest, of it? the holiday season, <laughs> what would you recommend they just kind of start to do? Uh, no I think that John. just getting moving is perfect. So if you don't want to get into a studio, just getting yourself walking, and you can also make that like a hit style where you run for a minute and then walk for a minute kind of taking that intensity up. Um, if you're looking to come into the studio, don't ever feel nervous or scared because everyone's a beginner at some point. Right. So try something new or something you think you'll like because everyone's there. We all have endorphins. So we're all really nice. <laughs> Are you hearing the producer rap? Yes! 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 Okay. Tell folks where you're located. Uh, we have a location in Alamo Heights uh, near Central Market as well as one in Hemisphere. We would love to see it. Come on out. All right. For more information on Energy X Fitness, okay, Mike, take, take a breather. You're good. Head to salive.com and click on the yes scene on SA Live tab where we've provided a link. All right. Next. We check out this lemonade pop-up and it has got a wow factor of fruity flavors. <laughs> Welcome back to SA Live. Well, this new pop-up is hydrating San Antonio one lemonade at a time. Desiree Cuellar with Wow Wow Hawaiian Lemonade is here. Good after. Oh, I love the... Uh, <laughs> Okay. So shaka, yeah. All right. So Hawaiian people thing. say hello, people fist bump, people say, you know, shaka, hello, aloha. So. Yes. <laughs> and hello, okay. good lemonade. So what right. makes wow, wow, makes say wow, wow in the Hawaiian so, lemonade? First of all, our lemonade is just, it's fresh. It's fresh handcrafted lemonades. We use fresh fruit purees to flavor them. Of course, we brought some with us today. And it's just, there's no preservatives. There's nothing to it. There's no catch to it. Now you do all kinds of fruits, right? Yes. So what are we making today? So today we're gonna to be making a strawberry pineapple. And then I have a lava flow right here. And then I'll be making a blue Hawaii over here. And so Mike, of course, you're jumping ahead, of course. So a strawberry pineapple is exactly that. It's gonna be a strawberry pineapple lemonade and there's there's no catch to it. It's exactly that. If you're gonna get bits of strawberry, bits of pineapple, and you're just gonna get that tarty freshness of our lemonade. Shake yep. it up. And you're just gonna shake it up really good. Play bartender. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So how long have you had this? This is a franchise. It is a franchise, yes. And so Wow Wow started off in 2012 as just a family-oriented market. It was doing farmer's markets, night markets all across Oahu, and they started their brick and mortar on Maui. So in 2018, they finally decided to franchise it. And last year, my husband and I decided to finally buy into it. Um, I was familiar with this since college, and I kind of just followed it along the way. And, you know, last year with quarantine and the summertime, it was just hot and what else do you think about oh, all the hot days want those what cool know. cool drinks how is it, it it's wonderful and you know what's nice mm. is with the strawberry and the pineapple in there because a lot of times lemonade good lemonade is like mm, you know, you up. so it kind of takes a little bit of the pucker factor out it of does there, so. yeah yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. And so what here? am I making here? So this is going to be our lava float. This okay. is going to be a coconut pineapple lemonade topped okay. with strawberry. And think of like a pina colada with strawberry. Oh, so this is the coconut? That's coconut. We oh. use a creamy pressed coconut. So it's not chunky. It's not flaky. Look at and that. a lot of people get weirded with coconut. But wow. the yeah, coconut that more. we use is actually a little bit more subtle. It helps to blend a little bit better. And then you're going to get, yep, 
Just a little bit of pineapple in there. Yep, okay. there you go, perfectly. And then and shake course, that up? Shake it right on up. Okay. With coconut and pineapple, what comes to mind but throwing a little bit of something extra in there, which would be <laughs> very good. They don't supply the adult beverages. We but, don't. Uh, but it's up, yeah. to, it's up to them, right? They can do. We will turn a blind eye. We can a little leave a little off the top for you. Okay, okay so, so add that. And you're just gonna leave a little off the top. Tell me when. Keep going a little more. Keep going. Right there. Okay. Now you're gonna take that strawberry squeegee mm -hmm. and you're just gonna squeegee up right on top. Just like that? Yep. Just Tell me like when. that. And right there. Right there. Okay. okay, look Twist at that. Twist that guy on and you're just gonna give it a nice solid swirl. You're gonna get a beautiful ombre strawberry on top. Oh, that is so cool. Now, you, what are you making? So this is gonna be a blue Hawaii. So I'm gonna take my lemonade base. I'm gonna be adding some coconut to it. Great mason jars and straws and everything. And you get refills at your place too, yes. right? Yes. So part of our brand and our mission is sustainability. And it's to leave the pond a little bit better than we found it. And all of our mason jars, we have 16, 24, and 32 ounce mason jars. And you always get a 50 cent discount on the refills. Mm -hmm. So once we have our storefront, we'll have frozen lemonades, acebos, flatbreads, smoothies, cold brew. So any of the drinks that we offer, you can get them in the mason jar. And all the plastics are biodegradable. All of our plastic, all of our bowls, all of our cutlery, all of our to-go orders are gonna be all biodegradable. And so it's just one less thing to think about when you're throwing something away. My personal favorite is actually our PLG. It's passion fruit, lemonade, and guava. And oh, it's going to be uh, on the tartier side. Okay. And that right there is oh, blue Hawaii. Look at how, oh, look so It's Rick a vacation and, in a glass. I mean, it really is. All Rick right. and Mortar store is in the works in mm -hmm. any it day It is hour. in the works. We should be announcing it relatively soon. So we're definitely e eager and excited to announce it as well. Thank you so much. For more information on Wow Wow Hawaiian Lemonade, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the ask scene on SA Live tab. Monday on SA Live, you've seen their cheesecakes, but wait till you see their fall espresso creations. Jen takes us out to Leica Cheesecakes. And time to make the bagels. I'm firing up a wood fire to holy goodness with the folks from Boss Bagels. Oh, they are a delicacy. That and all and more Monday at 1. All right, earlier we asked you to pick your perfect fall day. There were the choices on the screen. Drive the See the fall leaves, dinner out with friends, favorite book, pumpkin bread, fall scented candle, pumpkin patch, caramel apple Halloween movie, or long walk in the woods, bonfire, warm apple cider. The winner. Valerie says, A, mm -hmm. she wants to go see the fall, fall leaves. leaves. And that was the big winner mm -hmm. with all this. We've got a couple more. Go for a run, then the gym, <laughs> nice lunch, this then relax. This is secret option E. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> None. No tacos. <laughs> yes, Albert. I see, I see one mention of a fire. Oh. Okay. Bonfire will do. That's right. Yeah. Yes. I like that. <laughs> all right. Hey, beautiful fall. Wait, where are we? We're on this camera. Hi. Uh, beautiful fall weekend. Enjoy it. Mm -hmm. See you yes. Monday.